Hey everyone! Thanks for tuning in again this week. Uh, we are doing Create This Book as I promised, what, like, four, four weeks ago? Three, four weeks ago? So yeah, more Create This Book. I have two pages lined up for us to do. Um, I don't think I can accomplish more than that in this, uh, this week because of my, because of my busyness. Okay, that's all. Thanks. Hey everyone, voice over time again. So today I'm getting started with the create a page of polka dots. Um, I took some, um, what are they called? Bingo dotters where you like dot off your bingo. Like in like professional gambling bingo, they have like dotters instead of just making X's over the boxes. Anyway, so I stole some of those and um, I'm using those to create polka dots all over the page. Um, I decided to do a bingo cage and a bingo card for this page because when I was like six or seven, um, my birthday was polka dot themed and we actually ended up playing bingo. So that's what got me on the theme of bingo and then I remembered we had these bingo daughters and then it just kind of fell into place. So I'm going with like a, I think they call this style like Victorian or something. But uh, you make super like thin lines over other, what, like colors? As you can tell, I'm not 100% today. My brain is super laggy. Uh, I'm trying my best here though. Uh, so yeah, on the left, the left hand page, I am making a bingo cage. It's not a super realistic bingo cage or one that would actually work in real life, but it is cute enough. Um, I do end up regretting Mod Podging this page. So the last time we did create this book, I did both colored pencils. Both pages were in color pencil. And I Mod Podged them because I didn't want them to go all over. Um, plus that's like in the recommendations of the book is to Mod Podge each page. So I Mod Podge this page. I say Mod Podge a lot. I'm going to stop saying that. Uh, but it looks, it looks pretty bad. <laughs> the ink runs everywhere. I don't show that, but I show it like in the very last, in the final product. Um, I looked up a bingo card on my phone. That's why my phone's in frame. And here we go. Here is our page of polka dots. I think it looked fantastic before I put the sealant on there. So yeah, here's the last time it looked good. Anyway, moving on, um, this next page is create a page of instructions and it's like do cr like write instructions that are very specific and detailed and what this prompt reminds me of is when you take like a coding for beginners class one of the one of the like activities or lessons or whatever that they do is teach a robot how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and so like of course, most people go like, oh, peanut butter on the left, jelly on the right, squish them together, you know? But then the teacher acts as the robot and they show you how specific robot programming needs to be. Like, you can't just say that. So then the students or whatever have to go back in and they're like, okay, um, open peanut butter jar, get bread, you know, open bread bag, that kind of thing. So that's what this page reminded me of. So I ended up going with teaching a robot how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I printed out the instructions cause I didn't feel like drawing anything. Um, I do end up coloring a little bit. I, I had to make, a, oh, I had to make my own purple and I didn't have a purple piece of construction paper. So I just took a white paper and then used a purple pen on it, which maybe wasn't the best idea. But, you know, it worked. I didn't want to draw a lot, so I just kind of glued papers together and yeah. But anyway, back to my robot programming idea, since I'm all over the place today. Um, I used the robot, his name is Ribot from Animal Crossing New Horizons. Um, if you don't know the game, that's okay. All you need to know is he's a robot. That's basically his whole deal. 
And so I glue him all over the page and he's like trying to learn how to make this peanut butter and jelly sandwich from the instructions provided. And yeah. I don't have a ton of uh, details to give you. I think my bread slices came out amazing. They're so freaking cute. I ended up just drawing the crusts on there because like the breads were already pretty wide and I didn't want to glue a brown edge on them because they're that would make them even wider and they wouldn't fit in the book. So yeah, I just <laughs> drew the crust on there and it looks amazing and I love it. And here's all the components being glued in, peanut butter, the jelly, the final instructions, and then I print out Ribot and I cut him out and I glue him in. I think he's the cutest robot ever. Um, definitely, if you play New Horizons, he's definitely a dreamy for me. Uh, I don't care enough to go dreamy hunting though, so I'm just gonna have to buy him off of Nookazon. If you don't play New Horizons, that made no sense, but I'm so glad you're here because I appreciate you watching this video. Yes, I'm using kid scissors, okay. I didn't, I'm not to be trusted with adult scissors. So yeah, just finishing touches, gluing my ribot in there. I tried to make the instructions look not only like a string of code, but also like a nutritional facts label. So yeah, here we go. I think it turns out pretty cute. I'm excited that I didn't have to seal this page together and I didn't mean to cover up the examples list. I just, it just kind of happened because I wasn't planning so well, but uh, yeah. Anyway, that's basically the whole thing for the video. So thank you. Uh, welcome back. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry I didn't have time for more pages. I of course would like to do more, but I'm working with a very limited schedule. Um, I didn't feel the need to mod podge the peanut butter jelly page. Uh, I did end up mod podging. So, I did end up mod podging the polka dot page. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, the ink got smeared around, and it's particularly upsetting to me. So apparently, don't mod podge it if you have a lot of ink on there. Uh, but yeah, that's that's it for this week. If you made it this far, obviously you liked it, so you should thumbs up or something. And uh, if this is like your kind of content, your cup of tea, you should subscribe. But other than that, I'll see you in two weeks. Yeah. Okay, bye.